When I first discovered my breed, which are Balinese, Balinese are long-haired Siamese, but they are a, an actual breed of their own. They breed true instead of, they aren't a recessive gene, in other words. When you breed two Balinese, you get Balinese, which means this nice flat soft coat that feels like a rabbit. And when I first had my first Balinese and I knew that was the cat for me because of their personality traits, I was extremely tempted to become a cat breeder myself. Now I plead temporary insanity, but someday um, as a retirement hobby, I may do that because they're a very rare breed and there aren't very many females out there to be had. But this is Howler Monkey and they have a certain look to their face and their, their lines and their color. And with, um, with purebred cats, the, the thing that you really want to focus on is improving the breed and getting rid of so much inbreeding because so many cats have been inbred over the years that it's really making unhealthy kittens and that's why they get rare. The Balinese kit, cats are pretty rare because a lot of inbreeding took place in the beginning of developing their line. So cat breeding is kind of difficult. It's not like dog breeding. It's not like putting a golden retriever together with a golden retriever and getting a golden retriever. There's a lot more to it than that. And if you intend to breed cats, you really need to do your research. Because when I did mine, I realized it probably wasn't what I wanted to do right now.